When they voted, um, they would go and vote at the polls and wait in lines. And that's what I did when I first started voting, but they still don't have any access to that communication there at the polls. The very first thing that you're supposed to bring is a driver's license to be able to, you know, to show them. Um, and then they start talking as soon as you hand them your driver's license. And then I tell them, okay, I'm deaf. And then they freak out. When they see me, I'm telling them I'm deaf and things get extremely awkward. Um, and it's, you know, it wasn't the first time that I, that, that I have had to deal with that, but it's, it's been a lifelong frustration at the polls. I've gone to legislators in the past and, and asked them to, to improve accessibility to voting. Um, I think I did this maybe 10 years ago, and I said, um, we need to have full access. Um, and I, I, then I, I ended up going to the Board of Elections. And I went to the voting booth. And unfortunately, that voting, that, that voting booth is, was fully, they said was fully accessible. I went and they said, well, you can hear. And I said, actually, no, I can't. I'm, I'm completely deaf. They don't write it down on paper or get an interpreter to interpret what they're saying. They raise their voice. And so when they raise their voice, you know, you have to tell them, you know, this person is deaf. They can't hear you no matter how, how, how loud you talk. So I don't think they understand what it means to be deaf. Doing an online registration, I think, is great as long as you had videos of people signing. But you also have to remember that there are different groups of deaf people, uh, meaning there might be deaf individuals who are um, very uh, fluent speakers of ASL. Then you have others that are that that do more of a signed English, so they're more of a English sentence structure, and it would probably save money. Because, uh, you know, I, the, the Board of Election, um, or, you know, at this point, um, if you're looking at having to maybe possibly hire interpreters or anything like that, um, you're looking to save money to do that. Um, it would have minimized the, the amount of wait time people had when, if you chose to go in and do it in person. Well, I think it's important to me because um, I feel like I have the right to live the way that I want to live um, and vote for people that I want to vote for that are going to vote for things that I want to see happen um, in my local community, um, in my state, and also for, um, for the entire country. I feel like, you know, I have the right to show them that I, yes, I am a good citizen and I'm also proud to be an American.